Good day, class. Before we begin, let's have a short prayer. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Good day once again. Please ready your notebook, your pens, your calculators, your module, and the performance task attached with it. Okay. Our lesson is all about the accounting equation, and we have the following objectives. Number one, illustrate the accounting equation, and number two, perform equations involving simple cases with the use of the accounting equation. Let's have a review with our past lesson entitled Accounting Concepts and Principles. The said principles serve as guides in the practice of accounting. They are also similar to laws and rules in the application of presenting the accounting output or the financial statement. Now, why do people do business? It is uh, because of profit or income. Then, how does a businessman know how much he actually earned? Simply by looking into the business records, otherwise known as the accounting output. And of course, the correct recording starts in understanding the accounting equation. But before we start our discussion, on your notebook, I want you to apply the mathematical concept in algebra which is finding the unknown with a simple equation A is equals to B plus C. You may pause this video while you are answering. Now, let's check your answer. In number one, A is missing. So we just simply add B and C, which is 50 and 100. And then we come up with 150. So in number two, B is missing. So we transfer B to the left side and A to the right side with the equation B is equals to A minus C. Therefore, 3,000 minus 2,000 is equals to 1,000. So the same concept is applied with our lesson for today, which is the accounting equation. Uh, please open your module and turn it to page 3, what I know. And using the provided equation, Assets is equals to liabilities plus owner's equity. Answer the table you made me complete. Here, it says, supply the missing amounts to satisfy the basic accounting equation. We have five situations. For situation one, we have assets, 200,000, liabilities, 70,000. Owner's equity or owner's capital, we have to find the answer for that. And then situation number two, assets missing, liabilities equals to 40,000, and the owner's equity or uh, owner's capital is 120,000, and so on and so, so forth. So again, please pause this video while you are answering. Before we check your answers, okay, I want you to continue answering the following questions. Number one, how did you find the activity? Number two, how did you compute the missing amount in the table? Number three, give the equation you used to come up with the correct amount. You may pause this video again while you are answering. Now, let's answer the activity. Supply the missing amounts to satisfy the basic accounting equation. So, the basic accounting equation as we have said, its assets is equals to liabilities plus owner's equity. For situation one, owner's equity is missing. So if our formula is A, or assets, is equals to liabilities plus owner's equity. Since owner's equity is missing, the formula we arrive is owner's equity is equals to assets minus liabilities. So, assets, 200,000 minus liabilities, 70,000. The answer is 130,000. Next, 
What missing in situation number two is the assets. So, applying our accounting equation, assets is equal to liabilities plus owner's equity. We have 40,000 as the liabilities and 120,000 for the owner's equity. We arrive with the answer, 160,000 pesos. Next, number three, liabilities missing. So, our equation is liabilities is equal to assets minus owner's equity. 1,400,000 minus 1,100,000, the answer is 300,000. For number four, uh, we will apply the same equation wherein liabilities equals to assets minus owner's equity. That is 800,000 minus 600,000. We arrive with 200,000. Then the last one is for situation number five. Assets is missing, so it's very easy. Assets equals to liabilities plus owner's equity, 2,300,000 plus 7,700,000. We arrive with the answer, 10 million pesos. Now, we're done. Great job, everyone. So let's continue with our topic. What is the accounting equation? Assets equals to liabilities plus owner's equity. So, assets are the resources owned by a business. It will generate profit or income in the future. So let's have the example of a laundry business. No? In a laundry business, there is a location or place where the business owns or rent. Okay? It also has washing machines, detergent, water, employees, and so on and so forth. Everything that is owned by the laundry business are considered as assets. Assets has to be taken care of because mixing them up together will generate profit in the future. It's the reason why business exists. Just like in our lives, we need to take care of our innate assets which are the God-given talent and skills because in the future, they will reward us better days along the way. Now, we have the liabilities which represents the financial obligations or debts of a business. Sa Tagalog, utang. Okay? Liabilities, utang yan. So we have example here, the money borrowed from a lender such as banks and other financial institutions. Okay? Or it can be supplies from any supplier wherein these supplies are measured in money and other items that will add to the assets of the business. Lastly, we have the owner's equity which is the residual interest of the owner of the business. Meaning, any assets left after paying liabilities is the right of the owner of the business. There are four elements that affect equity. That's abbreviated with the word CRU, wherein C is for capital, otherwise known as investment, R is for revenue or income, E is for expenses. Remember, a car won't run without a gas bin. Just like a business, it won't run without incurring expenses. And the last one is W, which stands for withdrawals or the money withdrawn by the owner of the business okay so bear in mind that for every business transaction the accounting equation should always be balanced now i want you to answer activity one on page five of your module in your notebook huh? so it says here may aman the owner of manyaman samji restaurant reported her business assets and liabilities during its first year of operation. These are the following. Cash, 90,000 pesos. Tables and chairs, 20,000. Cooking utensils, 120,000. Meat cutter, 40,000. Aircon, 70,000. Supplies, 35,000 pesos. Cash borrowed from a bank, 100,000. Cash borrowed from a friend, 30,000. Required, 
list all the assets, liabilities, and owner's equity or capital on the table below. Write the total assets, liabilities, owner's equity, and the accounting equation. Again, you may pause this video while you are answering. So now, let's check your answers. Okay? So from the given, cash, tables, cooking utensils, meat cutter, aircon, and supplies are all considered assets. They are the resources of the business. So, we got the total of 375000 for the total assets. Okay? And for the liabilities, we consider the cash borrowed from a bank and the cash borrowed from a friend, which totals to 130,000 pesos. So, how much is the owner's equity, right? Filling out the accounting equation, we have the assets, 375,000 pesos, is equivalent to liabilities, 130,000 pesos, plus owner's equity, 245,000 pesos. 375,000 pesos for the assets less 130,000 pesos for the total liabilities. The answer is 245,000 for the owner's equity. Madali lang, di ba? That's it. Let's dig deeper to our topic. So, on your notebook, I want you to answer the assessment on page 10 of your module. Okay, let's read. Corona Hardware is preparing to record cash transactions for the first year of its operation. For each event, indicate whether total assets will increase, decrease, or remain unchanged. The first event has been recorded in the table as an example. Type of event, number one. Owner invested cash for his business, 200,000 pesos. Of course. The effect on the effect on total assets, of course, it's increase. Dahil nadagdagan yung pera ng business, ibig sabihin, nadagdagan din yung assets. Okay? So, you may pause this video again while you are answering. Let's check your answers. Okay? Indicate whether total assets will increase, decrease, or remain unchanged. So, for number one, we have answered this a while ago. No? It was an example. The owner invested cash for his business, 200,000 pesos. So, the effect on total assets, it's increase. So, naglagay ng cash sa business, ibig sabihin, nag-increase yung asset. Number two, receive cash from customers. So, nadagdagan na naman yung cash ng business. Ang galing yung cash? Galing yun sa customer. Nagbayad siya doon sa service na binigay ng business. So, dahil nadagdagan yung pera ng business, ibig sabihin, madadagdagan din yung asset. Okay? Number three, bought supplies with cash. Okay. So, yung business, meron na tayong cash sa business. So, yung cash na hawak natin sa business, pinambili natin ngayon ng supplies. Okay? So, ano ang magiging epekto nito sa total assets? Ang sagot ay unchanged. Why unchanged? Because, simply because cash is just converted into another asset named supplies. For example, the supplies that you bought costs 1,000 pesos. No? You may throw away your 1,000 pesos, pero may bumalik naman sa yung supplies in the form of other assets. Kaya, unchanged yung effect nun sa ating total assets. Kasi, na-replace lang yung cash na supplies. Okay? Number four. Sold products in 
cash. So, yung produkto mo, nakabenta ka, ibig sabihin, may pumasok na cash sa business mo. So, ibig sabihin, nadagdagan yung pera na business. So, the answer is increase. Okay? Increase in the total assets. Purchase number five. Purchase office equipment in cash. So, this example is just like the same with number three. No? Na-convert lang yung cash natin sa ibang asset. So, yung cash natin na-convert lang sa office equipment. Kaya, wala siyang effect sa total assets. Number six. Paid employees salaries. No? So, kailangan nating bayaran yung mga empleyado natin. Nabawasan ang pera ng business. Kaya anong nangyari doon sa ating asset? Nabawasan. Nabawasan yung cash. Okay? Kasi cash yung pinambayad natin. So, the effect on total assets, it's decrease. Okay? Number seven. Paid bank loans with cash. So, nabawasan na naman yung pera natin. Saan napunta yung pera natin? Napunta sa banko. Nagbayad tayo ng utang. So, hindi ito na-convert sa other asset. Okay? Lumabas talaga yung pera natin. So, yung effect nito ay decrease in the total assets. Okay. Number eight. Sold land for 1 million pesos. Okay. So, the effect on total assets is unchanged. Again, yung land natin, it is an asset. Okay? So, na-replace siya ng cash na nagkakahalagang 1 million pesos. Kaya yung asset natin, it remains the same. No? Uh, Na-convert lang siya ng cash. Number 9. Deposited cash in the bank. So, again, the cash is still there. Inilagay mo lang sa bangko. Hindi naman siya lumabas sa business. So, the effect on the total assets remain unchanged. Okay. So, I hope you got perfect score. Okay. Now that we analyze the effect of business transaction under assets, it is time to check your understanding for the whole accounting equation. You may now get our first performance task and answer them directly on the on the bond paper. No? So don't forget to write your name, your section, and your parents' signature. For your assignment, I want you to write a reflection in your notebook, just like what we always do, about the accounting equation that has been discussed today. So number two, your guardian will submit your performance task next Monday, April 26, 2021. Thank you, and I'm hoping you have learned so much today. May God bless us all.